Hey everyone, Andrew Stormer here, and welcome back to my computer tutorial series where I teach you everything you need to know about how to spec your own uh, gaming build, video editing, YouTube build, whatever. Today, we're talking the difference between a CPU, GPU, and then also what is integrated graphics. First, we have to pick out the difference between a CPU and a GPU, because they're both processors. A CPU does all the processing. It knows all the commands. It can do anything your computer needs it to do. A GPU though is still a processor like a CPU, except it can't do everything a CPU can do. It focuses and specializes in graphics. You can have a computer without a GPU, but that means your CPU has to be doing that graphics. That's called integrated graphics. That means that a CPU has this much power and this much capability of what it can do, but this portion here is set aside for graphics. Meaning that when you have a CPU with integrated graphics, it's taking out this much of its processing power meaning that you only actually have this much processing power from the CPU because it has to do all this graphics processing. A GPU takes this graphics load off the CPU and it does that job leaving this much processing power for the CPU. So that means the CPU can do everything it's capable of and the GPU is taking just the graphics load. In most cases, you want a GPU so you can get everything out of your CPU. The very few times you want integrated graphics is when all you're doing on a computer is checking your email and maybe watching a couple videos you're just doing text documents, you're not doing anything else. No gaming, no video rendering, no editing, no any of that. Integrated graphics though is really common in laptops. It's fine if you have integrated graphics in a laptop that you're just gonna type papers on, that's okay. But when you are wanting to game on your laptop or if you're wanting to edit your video that you just filmed when you're on vacation, you need a graphics card. Laptop CPUs are already not as fast as a desktop CPU, and then they also don't crank them really fast because of heat problems, because laptops don't have that great of cooling. You already don't have that much CPU power, and then you're having this much being taken out for graphics. That leaves you this much processing power to game and video edit, and that is not enough. So that's why you need a graphics card in your laptop. How do you know if a laptop has integrated graphics? If you go to the specs on a laptop, it will say graphics. If graphics says Intel, it's integrated in your CPU. You can get away with not having a graphics card in a computer, but it's going to be taking up some of the processing power from your CPU if you have integrated graphics. If you don't have integrated graphics and you don't have a GPU, you're not gonna be seeing squat when you turn on your computer. I would say for most people, you want a GPU. And keep in mind when buying a laptop, that you're getting a GPU in it and that it doesn't say Intel under graphics. Those are the times that you want integrated graphics and also why you shouldn't have integrated graphics. That's gonna do it for today's computer tutorial. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.